Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 15th of January. Today I'm going to choose one of our stocks signals from our membership area, from our stock signals membership area. In here on TradeTheFifth.com uh, we have potential long and short fifth wave trades. So today is January the 15th, I've chosen longs, we can also go for shorts as well, um, but in longs, we simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. And you can also go back in time as well uh, to check out some of the other signals from previous days. Uh, so the spreadsheet looks something like this. This is potential long fifth wave trades on the 60 minute time frame. As you can see, nice big list of potential longs there. MU, Apple, Nokia. Uh, I've chosen just one of those. Uh, COP I've chosen on the 60 minute time frame. So let's set that up using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and our Black Box Breakout Indicator Suite. So I put two together on one chart here uh, on our Think or Swim platform version. It's also available for Ninja Trader. Trade station and multi charts. So from these lows, this is a 60 minute chart for COP. From the lows down here, we can see our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite it has given us the, the one, the two, the three, and the four. Let me just remove that old drawing there. Okay, so we've got our fourth wave, and that's the most important thing for us to look for that potential fifth wave. So let's zoom in and have a look right now. Okay, you'll see I have um, this, this trend line here is just part of my weekly channel there. You probably won't see the center line there. There's the center line there. So we've got a longer term bullish channel here from the weekly time frame, and we're back inside that channel now. It's pulled back. It has found support pretty close to the uh, bottom end of that channel. Uh, so we're back in the bullish channel, which also gives me a little bit more confidence there. Um, so let's just zoom in a little bit on this wave four. So again, it's about the performance of the wave four before we start to think of uh, our fifth wave move there. So first of all, our fourth wave has pulled back against the main current trend. It's found support both in our EMA cloud. Okay, this is our... Um, W5T EMA cloud here, but also into our um, Fibonacci pullback zone. So it's in our green pullback zone. So that gives us an 85% probability. If this support holds, it'll go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here, uh, top end around about $69 there. The next thing is how that wave four uh, behaves. And on our 535 oscillator, which is the top of the three sub charts here, we can see the oscillators pull back just below 90%. It has to be between 90 and 140%. So it does show there could be a little bit more movement down, but we've got this EMA cloud as well. So we've got these linear fib levels plus also our EMA cloud all acting as support at the same time. So very, very strong support level there. So good on the 535. The stochastic is our next indicator of how the wave fours behave. We can see the false breakout bar on the top there. Now the stochastic, that denotes a really strong bullish trend. It's pulled back against there, crossed over in the oversold zone. This is a really good sign. It wants to go back to that main bullish trend where we've got that yellow bar. And then finally, we look at the, the multiple time frame dot cloud. This is part of our uh, black box breakout indicator really. Um, but I just used it for two, if I zoom back out again, we can see We've gone from basically a bearish trend here on this time frame, on multiple time frames, and then we're coming out of that now. Even our key trend here has gone from bearish to neutral in this scion, and everything else has gone to green. So we are turning the tide on COP. So this is good potential trade. So let's set it up very simple. The stop loss 65.27, uh, about five cents below the wave four low. And then more importantly, where we open today will be uh, below the cloud. The entry 66.42, it's got to be above the high of yesterday. Plus also we are above our 6.4 moving average high, this green moving average here. This is an uh, advanced moving average. 
so we're above there that's good for our entry as well so 66.42 target around about 69 dollars so a great risk to reward there of one to two for this potential long fifth wave move on cop okay so very very simple this came from our stock signals membership downloaded the spreadsheet uh, put it up on the chart and just made sure everything teed up properly and uh, put the entry together that's it for today have a great training day speak to you all tomorrow